Welcome to episode 3 of Taking Back Paris. Things have been happening, some of them good, some not so good, you know. It's not as good as last time, but we'll get into it. But just before we do, if you enjoy my content, please give it a like and subscribe if you are new. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so if you're looking for some good, consistent content, I'm your guy. Please subscribe, it'll be nice to have you. But let's get on with the video. So we'll start of the league table here. As you can see, we've played 37 games, so we have one game left to play, and we're within a point of automatic promotion and a title pretty much. However, first place have a game against last place, and second place have a game against 19th place, so I would assume they would both win that, and if they do, we're in the playoffs, and I'm not too sure how they work, as I mentioned in the first episode, so I guess we can learn together. But even if by some miracle they manage to slip up in those games, I do not trust us to win our game, because quite literally, if I do manage to somehow get this Paris team promoted, and I mean this right, this Paris team will be the worst team I'd ever get promoted. They are so annoying, and we'll, we'll look at the fixtures. So last episode, I played this game, we drew one all, which was a decent result. SM were top of the table, but since then, we had this awful, awful run of form where we couldn't win a game, we just couldn't score, like my strikers could not score goals to save their lives. It was in the news that Dwight Gales vows to end goal drought, Gaetan Laura vows to end goal drought, then eventually we managed to pick it back up and win some games, lost 3-0 here to Nancy for whatever reason, and then we managed to win the last two games. The last game that we did win was against second place, which was a huge win because that basically kept us in with a shout of being promoted today. But like I said, I do not trust this team at all. They just concede bad goals, fall asleep, concede early goals, get sent off. Like this 3-0 loss to VAFC, we lost because we got someone sent off. And every time I get someone sent off, I can't literally not lose. It's frustrating. So the bad fixtures and the bad run of form, combined with the amount of injuries and suspensions I've had, is insane. It's so annoying. This episode has the ability to be very long if we go into the playoffs. But you can see it was going all well and good, all well and good, then bad slight little down to third fourth and back up to fourth and then seventh for a little bit that's why a little bit it was like a week and then we managed to slowly recover it we were in the race for the title pretty much the whole season i don't even care about the title i just want to get promoted ideally automatically because i do not trust us to win any game let alone in the playoffs so yeah stress <laughs> we've had many injuries dwight gale the guy that's pretty much financially screwed my team 14 appearances zero goals averaging a 6.5 this says a lot <laughs> I don't want to go too much into it because, like I said, the episode can be very long. But this is the team that I'm going with. I've got my super old goalkeeper, Hanin, Bamba, Reese Williams, Balord. Comrade's having to play this deep line playmaker role, which is only there because of Name, whatever his name is. But he's also suspended and injured. So Manduki, ball winner, midfielder, Doughty, attacking playmaker. Florian Martin, who's not really played for me, but the last few games has actually been quite a good player. Seven appearances, four goals, 7.1 rating. So his form is keeping him in the team. Bowley and then go to Laura up front. Then we have decent options on the wing statistically, but a lot of these people are out of form, so not great. So this will be the team that I'm going with. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not optimistic at all. My team have the ability just to concede early goals and it'll be a massive fight. Ideally, we win our game, and if the other two above me win, so be it, we couldn't do anything about it. But if the two teams above me drop points, and I drop points, gonna be really triggered. Like I said, I am missing like Name or Name. He's like one of our best players. So hopefully that doesn't affect us too much. This doesn't look promising. What was that for a highlight? Close him down, lads. What is this highlight? It's been very long already. Come on, Bowley. Good ball. You offside? No? Okay, just spank one from outside the box where we hit the post. At least that was our highlight and it wasn't theirs. Don't play a ball like that. Is this still going to be our highlight? This is a very, very long highlight. Good ball. Loris is missing. Absolute sitter. Because that's what we do in this team. But at least it was our highlight. <laughs> oh, another one. Eight minutes in. Seriously, I, I... Oh, what ball? Go on. Finish, please. Yes, Laura, thank you. Let's keep this up and not take our foot off the pedal because we really have a tendency to do that. What a ball. Laura, at least it was a nice finish. Like, this guy will either score five goals in a game and there's an instant highlight, which is probably their goal. Will either score five goals in a game or not score at all for four matches or five matches. Please don't instantly concede. We should have conceded. That is lucky. See what I mean? We just fall asleep. Good ball, square it please, don't shoot. Why have you shot the ball? Your instruction is literally to cross more. As you can tell, I'm quite stressed with this team. They do my head in. I've really grown to hate them over the last couple days. Good ball, don't shoot. Oh, okay, do shoot. Florian Martin, 2-0. This is good. They've done a lot of highlights early on, which I'm not sure is a good or bad thing, but I'll take the goals. That is why he's in the team. He's actually just started scoring lately. I don't care if he win the title, I just want to get automatically promoted. That would be the dream. Because we're not getting through a playoff series, I'll tell you that now. Let's not let them back in the game, guys. Why are you completely unmarked? That, sh that was lucky. 
Oh, I didn't want to say anything because I knew that was going to happen. I don't want to be pessimistic about this team, but my god, they just let people in the game for no reason. We are second as it stands. All right, at half time, it is 2 1 to us. Things are going all right. It could be better. We're currently second in the league as it stands, I think. So let's just win our game and go from there. Like, if the other two teams above me don't drop points, so be it. We're never going to get automatically promoted. I just don't want to drop the points. My hands together. Things. I'm happy with your performance. Don't go and get complacent, please. I have zero faith in this team. Come on, we were 2-0 up. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I told you, this team is so bad. We're just throwing it away. Oh, it triggers me. We're, we're second to every single ball right now. Triggered. Triggered. We're 2-0 up and we've let it... Ooh, triggered. Triggered. I'm triggered. Well, we can go as attacking as we can and hopefully that changes something. Otherwise, we're in the playoffs and I'm not winning those. We can't beat 11th place Grenoble. How are we going to beat someone from Liga? Oh, go on, Gail. You haven't scored all season. You're going to start now. What is that? Why is that my highlight? The thing is, they don't even have anything to play for. They're 11th. They're in this division next year, whatever happens. So why do my players choke so hard? And the teams above us are winning anyway, so it doesn't even matter anymore. Oh my god, my team is so bad. I, honestly, I'm speechless right. I knew it was going to happen because this team have been doing that all season. But like, it's the biggest game of their season. We can win the title or go up if you win, potentially. You're like, no, we'll, we'll throw away a 2-0 lead. Let's thrash our arms far from please. Why would you be demotivated? You're just literally throwing that away. Oh, it's so annoying. If we won, we would have gone up automatically. Oh, well, I guess we're figuring out how the playoffs work. Not going to lie, I don't think we're going up at all. And it would kind of be a blessing in disguise because this team are not good enough. We're just going to get relegated if we do. But I'm still going to try. Okay, so it looks like I was right. So because I was third, I get a buy straight into the semi-final of this promotion playoff. So fourth and fifth play, and then the winner of that play me. And then the winner of that plays 18th place in Liga R, which would currently be Lorient. Okay, yeah, so that's right. So we play... Okay, so that is right. This team won the playoff quarterfinal, so now it's us against them in the semis. And then the winner of that has to face the 18th place in Liga R, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, so the promotion playoff semi-final against, let's call them AC. I checked back in the league, I beat them 3-0, and then I lost to them 2-1 because I had someone sent off. So hopefully that means we should be able to win this game. Long story short, right? I'm not convinced we're going to get up. And if we don't get up, it's kind of a blessing in disguise because this team is not good enough. However, I would still like to get up. Otherwise, money-wise, we're probably going to struggle in this division next year. But I guess it's all part of the challenge. But the team is exactly the same. No, it's not. What the hell? As you can tell, there's some rotations in the team again. The left back, who Hannon is normally my, my go-to guy, has been suspended. So I'm not going to read him out. Kikonda's also playing, who's only played one other game for me. And that's just going to have to do. And hopefully we get out of this with a win. I'm really not confident. Yes, I'm aware that we have lacking match fitness, guys. It's not the best thing in the world, is it? Come on, guys. Actually show me that you're a good team. We're at home. We always play better at home for whatever reason. Well, we're half an hour in and we haven't had a highlight. Let's encourage them again. This is riveting. There's still no highlight and it's almost 40 minutes in. So, how you doing? Want to leave a comment? Leave a like? <laughs> Alright. We're going to get a whole half of football here with zero highlights. Don't know if I'm happy about that or annoyed about that. Yep, a whole half. Zero highlights. And nothing really to discuss with the stats other than the fact that we cannot ever get a shot on target. Not happy with you. Please go out there and do something. I'm going to instantly demand more as well. That's our highlight. That's the only highlight we've had. It's just a glancing header. Another exact same free kick. Are we going to score this time? No, we're not. Just two highlights of two free kicks and we've missed them both. Come on, guys. We're at home. We can do it. That's, please be my highlight. Can you hear that car, everybody? Laura, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay, do shoot. One, <laughs> one nil. Okay, I, that's one of those I thought he's just going to miss because you get loads of them in this game. However, I will take it. Okay, 1-0. I'm pretty sure there's only one leg, so I think we're through. Outstretched arm, well done lads, good win for us. Ignore the fact that we only scored one shot on target. So now, if I'm right, we now play 18th place in Liga R, and we're probably not going to win it, but we can try. I was right on the structure, so I'm not going to repeat it, but we are playing FC Lorient in the playoffs. There's two legs of this, so we start the first leg at home, so hopefully we get a good result, and then we just manage to grind out the away result. The only Liga R team we've played is Lyon, and they beat us 6-0, so am I confident? No. Okay, so the first game, which is really late in the evening, it's nine o'clock. We need to get a result here because I'm not convinced we'll get any result away. So we need to ideally like a three nil is what I'm asking for. Am I going to get it? No, but I'll try. Guy Laura also picked up a knock in the midweek. So 
he's out pretty much. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so bored of the injury issues that I'm having and the team rotation that I'm having to do. This guy doesn't have a number because he hasn't played for me, but he has to play this game because I don't really have anyone else. So for the playoff final first leg, this is the team I'm going with. Hanin, Hanin is back, that's just nice because he's one of our better players. Bamba, Williams, Balord, Chergui, who I've never played, Manduki, Dalti, Lopez, Gilvagui, and Dwight Gale, who has yet to score a goal. I can't wait to get to the offseason so I can really revamp this team, I hate it. Okay, so first highlight, let's hope they have bad morale because they're low down in their league. We've not been on great form, go on Gilvagui, please finish. How have you missed that then? <laughs> that's literally the best, I don't concede a corner. That was literally the best start we could have possibly had if he just finished the ball. We need a goal here. Like, we need to win this game. I do not see us winning on their pitch. Like, I just don't. Let's not concede a corner. Oh, for God's sake. I hate this team with a passion. They're not in the... Ugh, they're not in the game at all. We concede stupid set pieces. I say they're not in the game at all. We're not really in the game at all. My team just does not have it about them to get up for any game. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Go out there and score a goal, you bunch of losers. Come on, guys, you can get promoted if you win these games. Is that not is that not motivating for you? Go on, get the ball in, please. Score, please. Thank you, one all. We need to win this game. Not happy with the draw. Oh, this is stressing me out. Can you tell? I just don't understand why we play so bad all the time. <laughs> but good finish. Come on, please get another one. Come on, Lopez. Still overlapping on the left. Get the ball in, hand in. That's how we score a lot of goals or get dispossessed and get counter-attacked. That's how we concede a lot of goals. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I actually can't wait for the season to be over so I can sell everybody. Good ball. Get it in. Don't shoot. Penalty. Penalty. We're having a penalty. We don't have VAR in our league, so this is kind of weird. This is the first VAR I've had all season. Please score it. We haven't missed the penalty all season. And I guarantee you miss now. I'm going to touch with it anyway. I <laughs> I'm sorry, but this game is so predictable. Please, come on, Laura. I've put you on. I know you're not really fit. What is that? Literally, what is that? If you just got sent off, I'm going to be so mad, so angry. I don't know what mangry is. Like, what are they doing? <laughs> what is the point of this game? Oh, I hate it. At least we didn't concede. But that comrade's an idiot. I Honestly, I don't even know what to say at this point. I hate this team. <laughs> you weren't good enough. We needed to have been winning that game. We're changing to this. This is my third formation, which is a custom gig impress, if you will, which is 4 2 3 1. We've got nothing left to lose, really. We've got people with fitness issues, but <laughs> it's the last game of the season. We need you to score. We need you to win. I don't know if the away goal rule comes in, but I have zero confidence in this team at all. I hope we go up. I don't think we will. Please, guys. Just, you can do it. Maybe. 2 0 win. That's what we're looking for. I was going to say, why have you left such of a gap there on your left there, mate? But that's his right, isn't it? Well, again, let's just say that's terrible positioning for my goalkeeper. Oh, for God's sake, I hate this team. We now have to beat this team by three goals, and that's not happening. Oh, I don't even know what to say at this point. This is going to be the most annoying episode for me to upload. Because it's not been fun to record, I'll tell you that much. Of course we have another injury, why would we not? The reason I didn't want to go into the playoffs is because I knew something like this would happen, and we just can't beat teams we should be beating at the end of the day but what is this what is this defending you're gonna get us back in the game no we're gonna get counter-attacked aren't we oh why have you got yourself sent off i'm not having fun remember that thing i said when if you're playing football manager of 10 men you're gonna lose we're losing 4-0 in a literal must-win game i'm so bad Quick update, it's 5 0. So, to be clear, in a must win game, we have lost 5 0. <laughs> oh my god, the worst thing is I've got to upload this. I'm not even going to talk to you. You guys don't deserve my time. I swore I'm going to have to beat that. That's how triggered I am. Well, guess we're staying in Liga do for another year. The amount of injuries, Jesus Christ. The amount of red cards, the amount of injuries we've had all year. Absolutely livid. <laughs> Genuinely livid. I can't believe I have to stay in Liga do for another year. I'll be back soon for another one. And I am going to revamp this team, everything from the training to our physios to the players. And we are going up next season and we're finishing first. The only silver lining is I'm making sure I finish first next year, I hope. And we get a trophy because uh, we finished third. We had such a good run. I guess we did overachieve because like, if you look here, our media prediction was 14th and we finished third. So there is that. However, why would I not want to get promoted? <laughs> and this is just embarrassing now. 
What a choke. Anyway, that will do it for the episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new. I've sat here for 40 minutes watching this painful Paris team, so I'd appreciate a nice, a nice like and a subscribe if you can. But we will be back in a couple of days for another one. Like I said, we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So if you're looking for some good, consistent content, I'm your guy. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. I'm triggered. Bye. <laughs>